want to code faster, debug smarter and navigate like a pro in Visual Studio? In this video, we are unlocking the power of productivity with the top Visual Studio shortcuts every developer should know. From lightning fast navigation to powerful refactoring tools, boost your workflow and make the IDE work for you. Let's dive into the ultimate shortcut guide for Visual Studio. Let's try to change this variable at once. So let's select it and control R R and change. Now it's change. Okay. You can rename function also. Let's try it. Private void test function. Okay. Let's try to call here test function and let's try to change it. Control R R and T I O N. It reflects L. You can press F to L here and go to definition. And we instantly go to definition of our class member. We can do this for a function also. Let's try for method. Let's click in view and F to L. Now we redirect to function definition, view definition without leaving file. So for that, let's press Alt F to L. And we instantly see here definition of our view method. Okay, let's try quick action in control dot. We can see here different action. Enter, we can see instead of bar, we can see here product. Let's try another shortcut control x for cutting whole line. Let's try another alt up and down arrow for moving up and down. Let's try multiple cursor. So let's select this one and press Alt Shift and down arrow. Now we can edit this variable at once. Let's say product from db. Now let's try another shortcut. Control Z. Go to line number instantly. Let's say 50 and OK. Now our cursor move in 50 line. Now another most used shortcut, let's try control comma for source anything, let's say product from db. Now we can see this one, let's click this one and we instantly navigate to local variable. We can search for file of program.cs, enter, we instantly navigate to program.cs or even we can search function. So let's try it, control comma, update, now let's enter, we instantly navigate to update function. Now let's try shortcut for generate property prop tab let's say string status or we can generate full property prop full tab now we can generate full property okay let's try another shortcut surround with let's select this one and press ks and let's surround with region you can see update existing item let's try another shortcut collapse and expand this region you can click ctrl mm twice and mm twice is expand and collapse you can toggle expand and collapse by pressing ctrl mm okay another shortcut you can use for comment code ctrl kc and ctrl ku for comment out for surround reserved app, let's go to delete.css.html and let's try to wrap this in div. So let's select it and pressing Alt Shift W and we can wrap by div or span. If you want to wrap this form, we need to click here and in tag and Alt Shift W. We automatically wrap this with div. We can give class here take center or any disturb class another useful shortcut we can try instead of manually collapsing this function we can collapse it once so let's try to let's press ctrl m o so we immediately collapse all available function or to expand all we can do by pressing ctrl m l okay now let's try another shortcut we can use ctrl backtick to open developer PowerShell and we can navigate back and the shortcut to open solution explorer ctrl alt l and for hide 
let's press shift escape now enter shortcut instead of creating class one by one this we can do it from shortcut let's select model and control shift a let's click this show compact view now you can see minimal view let's add file name let's create order.cs comma and add now we generate order class now let's try to create multiple model class control shift a test one comma test two comma test three press enter you can see here the class created okay let's try to create folder inside here by using shortcut ctrl shift a let's type product and slash or even we can create nested folder okay let's add here product one press enter now we can see product inside product we can see product one even inside folder we can create class let's try it ctrl shift a order folder inside order let's create order.cs enter now you can see inside order order.cs let's open explorer ctrl alt l and let's make folder by pressing ctrl shift a and services inside services let's add product service class enter okay let's make public list of product okay let's import by pressing ctrl dot and enter for now let's return empty list okay we can extract interface from this class let's try it control let's press ctrl r and i now we can see here dialog let's click ok now we can see here product service control click and now we can see i product service interface in new file let's go to this file okay let's open solution explorer and verify our i product service you can see here i product service so you don't need to manually create interface let's try another one public product get product by id okay let's create product for now product new product description description name okay let's return it product let's go to i product service now we have get all method let's go to product service and generate new method inside i product service let's press ctrl dot and let's select pool get product by id and let's hover it let's click i product enter now let's go to i product service we see here another method get product by id in this way you can send it interface now let's try another shortcut for extracting new method for example let's make private method for this let's select this one and press ctrl r and m now let's give name create new product beautiful now we have private static method okay let's try another shortcut for immediate debug let's go to product controller and here let's let's add breakpoint and start our application navigate to product try to update let's click edit and let's click update now let's open immediate window ctrl alt i let's click this drop down and dog okay let's type here product dot name and enter we can see here product name and product dot description in this way we can immediately debug let's try id you can see id 16 here okay let's drive backward now go to product and try to navigate backward let's 
press ctrl minus now we immediately navigate to previous location let's try another shortcut to navigate different file so let's try it ctrl tab let's press tab 